Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video, and today we're going to be doing another pack preview. So we're going to jump into collections here. And as you guys can see under the pack heading, we actually have another pack coming out. It's called the Oppressor Pack, and this is going to come out before Knights of the Eternal Throne hits. Now some of the items that are in this pack, um, I had... There was basically there were data mined and it was believed that they were going to come out with Knights of the Eternal Throne, but it seems as though this is actually going to come out before sometime probably mid-November. So heading on into this pack, I've already previewed some of the armor sets and stuff in a previous video, so I'm not going to really spend that much time on them. Uh, the first thing you guys will notice here is we have the Scavenger Lugger Wall and then Senya Terrell's Lightsaber and Senya Terrell's Lightsaber Pike, so it's nice to see that those three very awesome platinum items are going to be available, so if you get really lucky, you can get them. But going on into some of the new stuff, we have t uh, some new mounts that originally the images weren't available. And we have the unrelenting interceptor here. Now if I just quickly, a little trick, and someone actually made a video on this to show me because they had explained it to me in the comment section, I didn't understand, and then they actually made a video. So thank you to whoever did that. Like, you were such a nice person to do that. So if I just also run into my show, I should have done this beforehand. Now I'm wasting your guys' time. Uh, we're just going to need to enable the movable secondary window. There we go. Jump back into collections. And now I'll be able to preview everything. Come on. Okay, so back into the oppressor pack. Uh, this is the unrelenting interceptor. As I was saying, a very nice mount. I actually really, really like the look of this one. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't actually fly, so that kind of ruins it. Like, it would be awesome if this was actually just flying kind of around. And I know that's, you know, a little bit unrealistic, especially in uh, the context of Soltar. Maybe, like, in, for World of Warcraft, that would be a lot more viable. Because they have a lot of flying mounts that just fly around and stuff, but this one's going to just act like any regular mount, but it would be awesome if you could fly around in this thing. Um, the other one that's kind of similar in style is the Kukri Subjugator. This one's kind of a nice one as well, but definitely not as nice as the other one. I personally like this one a lot more, although it seems as though this one has a flourish associated with it, and this one does not. Uh, this one has a flourish where these wings are probably going to go down. The reason I don't like this one that much, even though they're both gold rarity, is because uh, you're not covered. Like, there's nothing above you, so it doesn't really seem like it's a, a mount. It kind of just seems like it's something you would kind of drive on a landscape or something, but not really fly around in space. This one seems like something you'd fly around in space in. Actually, um, looking at it now, this seems like this does have a flourish. Uh, whoops, sorry for misinforming, but it seems as though something like this thing's going to pop up and down. That's what it seems like from the image. Uh, what I did want to quickly mention was the style of both of these. They seem very Empire-ish. Uh, it seems like maybe something, especially the Unrelenting Interceptor, something you would ride maybe in the Empire Strikes Back or uh, A New Hope in that era of Darth Vader and, the, and Emperor Sidious and stuff. Uh, especially even its name, Interceptor, which can relate to the Interceptor model of one of those TIE Fighter things. Um, so it does really look like that, and that's one of the reasons I absolutely love it. I also really like the two guns on the side there. I'm not so crazy about this Kukri Subjugator, there's just nothing too special about it. But nonetheless, they're pretty nice gold mounts. Now this Dune Crawler Psyche. This is actually another gold mount as well. Unfortunately, it's not very good. I don't think it's going to sell very well. Uh, I don't think very many people are crazy about riding on these Psyche things. These are like animals you find on Tatooine, you can kill them and stuff. But they're just, I don't know, cooler beast mounts you can have that are gold. This is probably going to sell pretty low on the GTN. And, and it, you know, even, even if you get this out of a pack, unfortunately you won't be making those many credits. But nonetheless, it's the gold mount, and that's kind of the trend with these packs. Recently, we've been getting three gold mounts. Uh, re normally, you only get like two in the other packs, but in the uh, older packs, I mean. With the Alliance packs, we've seen a lot more gold mounts. The Aerotech Vengeance. This is silver, and it's going to be one of those crappy ones. And we'll just get these crappy ones out of the way with the Losin JY83. These are just going to be pure crap. Although, I will say one thing. This has a pretty nice color scheme associated with it. Uh, it's very cool, it's very unique, but nonetheless it won't sell very high, and it's going to be a very common drop. So, yeah, that's the junk coming out of these packs. Uh, the Savannah Kaibuck is another piece of junk. I mean, we had a gold Kaibuck coming out of the Anarchist packs. I'll quickly show you guys. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Prairie Kaibuck, that's what it was called. They look, they're basically the same. I mean, it, it's obviously just a reskin, except this one was gold rarity, and the other one's silver. And this one only sold for like 400k on the Harbinger. And I'm not sure how it's sold in other servers, but probably didn't sell for very much. And so I'm obviously assuming this one's not going to be very rare. And the reason I focus on price so much is because, you know, a lot of the point of previewing these packs is kind of letting you guys know whether it's worth buying. And the fact of the matter is, if you can pick up an item you want off the GTN for like 100k credits, and obviously it's not worth buying a pack, because you'll, you'll probably get it out of the pack, but still, you can just have paid 100,000 credits on the GTN and gotten the item you want. 
And so this is going to be another little piece of junk coming out of this pack. It's not going to sell very much. Now we've already gone through a lot of the armor. I'm not going to really look at this junk armor. I mean the Taskmaster, there's really nothing too special about that. The Frenzied Zealot, I'll quickly preview this one because this is actually a really nice armor set. As I mentioned, the only real kind of cool thing that sticks out is the helmet. Um, the other stuff looks actually pretty plain, but in my opinion it goes very well with the entire armor set. Like if you just, like this is an armor set I would definitely think about unlocking for the primary reason that it just goes so well together. And um, I really like it. It's a very, very nice gold armor set. And Bioware has been on point with their gold armor sets. I think the the gold ones from the scavenger pack are very nice. They're very Tatooine-ish. So for people who travel Tatooine, have a stronghold, or want to have that type of armor set. Oh, this is glitching out on me. Uh, that's a very good pack to open. And this one's great for Sith. I mean, obviously this is very much geared towards Sith. And uh, the Frenzied Warrior is an awesome armor set. The Unrelenting Terror is another absolutely amazing armor set. And I think this might be the new Sith Recluse. Oh, come on, don't glitch on me like that. Um, this might be the new Sith Recluse, honestly. I think so, because it's very, very nice. It actually has a very similar style to that as well. I mean, obviously it's not a, an identical reskin or anything, but it has that type of style going. Very Sith-like, kind of looks like the Sith Recluse, and I just think it's personally a very, very nice armor set. The helmet obviously being a little bit reminiscent of Darth Vader. So anyone who wants to make a Darth Vader clone, this is the helmet to use. Okay, I guess it's going to do that. And even the, well, perfectly, it's gonna, <laughs> I actually want to talk about the gloves, uh, belt, and boots also look very nice. So those are perfect for anyone who wanted to dress up their characters like a Sith. So that's another very, very nice armor set. So very, very good gold stuff that's probably going to sell for tons of credits. Going on, the Crimson Raider, no need to really preview it. Midnight Racer, these are the bronze armor sets. I personally think the Crimson Raider is not going to sell too well because it's just a reskin of the um, Havoc Squad Specialist from the Disavowed Packs. And the Havoc Squad Specialist were silver, silver rarity, and they didn't sell for very much. So obviously the bronze stuff's going to go for very cheap. Uh, we'll get through some of the other junk as well. And this thing's full of junk, unfortunately. It's got some really nice stuff like the gold mounts and the gold armor sets, but it's just chock full of other junk. Like these weapons won't sell for very much. Quickly show you guys. Yeah, just plain looking. Absolutely nothing special about these. Bioware's weapons in their alliance packs that they've released recently have been absolutely terrible. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. They've been absolutely terrible. They don't sell well on the GTN at all. They look very ugly. They're just not worth collecting or having at all. I don't see anyone even using these, so they're very ugly. They're just complete junk. And the crystal is very junky as well. Let's see. I think I'll be able to preview it yet. Yeah. There we go. So that's how that crystal looks. It actually looks better than what it looks like in the image, but nonetheless, still not very nice. Probably not going to sell very well. Crystals have been just junk recently as well. Ugh. And um, titled The Oppressor. Now, this is actually a pretty cool title. Uh, I like The Oppressor. Once again, goes very well with a Sith. Probably a Sith would like that title. And finally, the security soldiers uh, stuff. And the one, the one thing that really kind of sticks out from this armor set is the helmet, which is reminiscent of Kylo Ren. So anyone that wants to make a Kylo Ren clone can probably use this helmet. Unfortunately, a hood does not work. I have tested it out. You cannot put a hood over this helmet, which is unfortunate because obviously that ruins the whole Kylo Ren thing. And so that might not sell very well, but we'll see. And finally, I want to talk about the Creature Companion. It's a, oh, I can't pronounce that, Malvor, Mal Malvor, I guess. Uh, once very, very cool Creature Companion, I must say. Uh, we've had this as a pet. I'm guessing they'll probably release it as a mount later because usually that's what happens. You know, they release a Nexu pet and then they release a Nexu mount. So maybe they're releasing this pet first. And the, Oh, sorry, this is a companion. What am I saying? They release a Nexu companion and then we got a mount. So maybe they're releasing this companion and going to give us a mount later, which would be cool. I'm not really sure what this creature is. I know I've seen it before, but I can't remember which planet it's on or whatever. But nonetheless, it's going to be a pretty cool creature companion. Uh, usually these four-legged companions go for a ton of credits. Just think about the um, think about uh, the Nexu. That's also like 30 million credits on the Harbinger server right now. Uh, the other one is the Dog, which isn't even available. That one's super rare. So these four-legged creatures tend to sell for a lot. So this one's probably going to sell pretty well. Anyways, that ends the pack preview. This is a really cool thing. I hope Bioware does this more, but they kind of release the next pack a little earlier, and it's great because then I can actually straight up, straight up go ahead and preview it rather than just have an image. So it's a little bit more visually better for you guys who are looking at it. You can get a better taste of what these armor sets actually look like on a character and stuff. And so I like this. Um, so I guess we're getting another pack. I'll be excited to do a pack opening, try to get some of these gold stuff, and maybe pull out a platinum. We'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.